Hey guys, Jada De Laurentiis here, and I'm in Los Angeles in my home kitchen, and today I'm making one of my favorite holiday treats, and they are spiced chocolate almond bars. Before we begin, grease your 8x8 pan and line it with parchment paper, and also toast half a cup of sliced almonds. And I'm starting with a cup of um, bittersweet chocolate chips, and to it I'm going to add a tablespoon of coconut oil, and we're going to melt it in the microwave. Um, my favorite way is to melt it in the microwave, 10 second increments until it's melted. Or you could, um, you could melt it in a double boiler, whichever you prefer, but I think the microwave is a little faster. So let's go stick this in the microwave, 10 second increments until, um, until it's melted. So as my chocolate is melting, um, I got started on the butter portion of this. So we started with two tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've melted and I've turned it sort of a nutty brown color to give it lots of flavor. So what we do is we turn off the stove, we take our butter, and you can smell the nuttiness of the butter. It takes a couple minutes for this to happen, um, but it gives it a lot of flavor. So see that? See how nice and toasty that is? Now to that, we're gonna add a couple of different ingredients. We're gonna add almond butter, and what I like to do is add sort of a smooth almond butter. If you like it crunchy, you can do that, but it's much easier to cut these bars if it's smooth almond butter. And you don't, um, if you don't have almond butter, you could use peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever butter you like, as long as it's a nut butter. So we add the almond butter in there, and that's one cup of almond butter. Then we're just gonna mix this together, the almond butter and the regular butter. Mix it together because basically this is going to become the base of the bars and this is as far as the cooking process goes because the rest of it's just going to be in the fridge until they solidify so it makes it really easy to make there we go okay so once you mix the butter and the almond butter together next we're going to add almond flour and we're going to add three quarters of a cup of almond flour and i use i like to use a uh, blanched almond flour I like the texture, it's a little bit lighter. Mix that in. And you can start to see it coming together and getting a little bit thicker. See that? Just keep stirring it. There we go. Now, for the flavor, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ginger, ground ginger. Now that's where we get the spice in. So when we say spice, we don't actually mean uh, a kick of heat, but warmth, and that's what we're gonna get from the cinnamon and the ground ginger. We're gonna get a nice warmth. Then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt just to kind of balance out the flavors of the sweetness. Mix that in. It smells so good. The ginger really helps. The ginger and the cinnamon really give this, um, this little treat, that holiday flavor. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract there we go. for that sweetness. It's just the depth of sweetness that the vanilla extract gives that you just can't get from sugar. So this is really important. And as for the almond flour that I used, um, I used almond flour because I used almond butter. So if you use a different type of um, nut butter, then you could use that kind of flour as well. But otherwise, just use almond butter and whatever nut butter you can find. It will be delicious with chocolate anytime. Okay, that's mixed it. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of powdered sugar. There we go, perfect. Just kind of see if we can level that powdered sugar off. So you make sure you get the right amount of sugar in here. And the powdered sugar helps to solidify it as a base. There's cornstarch in powdered sugar, so that really helps kind of solidify and make the, the bottom um, sort of hard enough that you can cut it and stays in a bar form. There we go. It dries up the whole thing. There we go. Perfect. See, it becomes like a dough, which is what you want. Okay, so now that we have that mixture done, I'm grabbing my eight by eight pan. I've already greased it and I lined it with some parchment paper. And the reason I lined it with parchment paper is because it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to lift out the bars to then cut them. 
So you just kind of leave a little bit of a side here so that you can, they're like handles and you can just lift it up, plop it down and then cut them up. So here we go. We're gonna just add all of the mixture in the bottom of this pan. There we go. Nice and creamy. And then you wanna just spread it out to all of the corners. Oh, it smells so good. It's that ginger and that cinnamon. It makes it smell so yummy. All right, so the base is done. Let's check on our chocolate. like the chocolate is just about melted. Might need another 10 seconds or so. What you wanna do is sort of put the chocolate in into the microwave for about 10, 20 seconds at a time, and then try to stir it. And if it's not quite melted yet, the way that mine isn't quite melted yet, then pop it back in there. But don't pop it back in there for too long. Um, I wouldn't do more than 10 seconds at a time at this point, because you don't wanna burn it. So I added a tablespoon of coconut oil to the uh, chocolate chips just to help it set and to keep it shiny. And if you don't have coconut oil, you could um, add vegetable oil. The whole point is to keep it um, shiny and help it set on the chocolate. But I like the flavor of the coconut oil, so I like the coconut with the chocolate. Okay, look at that. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we pour it on top of the almond base. There we go. And then just spread it out so it covers the entire base. That looks so good to me. I love these bars. Okay, so just spread it all the way so it goes to all of the sides. There we go. Okay. So now that it's spread and it looks just like that, what we want to do is take some toasted sliced almonds and we just sprinkle them right over the top just to give it a nice decoration. There we go. So, oh, it gives it a nice crunch and a nice decoration all over the top. All right, this is what it looks like. We're gonna pop these in the fridge for about an hour and a half until they're nice and set. 20 minutes in, you can take them out and cut them with a serrated knife and then pop them back in until it's completely set. So my bars have set and I cut them. Look how pretty they look. See how pretty they look? Whoops. There we go. I also put some in a box so that you could bring them. The idea is that you can give these as gifts during the holidays or bring them as hostess gifts when you go to somebody's party or even to your neighbors. Mm. Well, the best part is eating them. This reminds me of um, a chocolate peanut butter cup, although it's almond and it's a little bar. Same texture, same flavor, same amount of decadence. Absolute perfection. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I hope this will become one of your favorite holiday treats as well, or really a treat any time of year.